I made 60 albumin prints, and right here you're seeing a selection of my favorites. I spent four years photographing this series and about a year in a dark room printing them. Albumin printing is called albumin printing because you actually use the albumin from an egg. And there was about, I don't know, thousands, thousands of eggs to make these prints. And the, eggs, the egg whites actually sized the paper. And I took watercolor paper and I cut all the watercolor paper down. They go through the egg whites and then you hang up the paper to dry. Once the paper dries, it then is flattened and a silver nitrate solution is brushed on it with a large brush. You can see the brush marks. And that's what make these prints so unique as they are handmade in a digital world. And you can see every mistake, every, every flaw. Once you put the silver nitrate on it, it then dries, and then you put a negative on top of it. And the negative is actually as big as the print. It's called the contact print. So you can actually see where the negative sits on the paper. You put a piece of glass on it, and then you put it into the sunlight. And this, it took about three minutes for these to develop in the sun. After um, it's developed in the sun, then you take it through a series of chemicals, much like you would a darkroom print. Um, and then it's washed and then it's hung to dry. I flatten them again, and then I paint and draw on them. And it makes them, I think, really unique and takes them to a whole other place that it didn't go before I 